Hi, boys and girls. It's time. <laughs> um, yeah, for the like weekly pickup motivation podcast. So don't uh, sound very motivated, Dino. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm I sound so excited now. <laughs> my yeah, my wrist crushed technically. So we got a, another future pimp for uh, in house. With Dude, us he's today. Not, he's not a future pimp. He's, he's already a, a pimp. pimp. He's already a pimp. He's already a hardcore pimp. pimp. I'm not a pimp. <laughs> I'm just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Fat girls don't even like me. Oh, you got time. You got time. Like the most, like the best resource on earth is time, yeah. and you have more than any one of us here. Yeah, I'm, I'm 12 years old, by the way. That's, just so you know. So yeah, yeah. The pick up, sure, what if you like? Pick up what if he's, like, lowered. Running across the street to pick up some chick, and then like, like yeah. tram comes, and then like hits. Then him. he's dead, right? Besides, <laughs> <laughs> like I have a healthier diet. Now, so. yeah. Do you? No, Are you sure? I'm just joking. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, just, I just ate an apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I had kale. I had kale. I had kale smoothie <laughs> this morning. Um. All right. So we got Michael here. And we will start with adventure of the week, and then what have you learned during the week? Surprise, surprise! All right, yeah, Ranga, you can go first. Uh, uh, okay, so I was so motivated. This today. week was honestly pretty. Um, I don't e- know. Epic. I can't actually remember shit that happened, but like since I went out last night, I I remember shit that happened last night. Because I'm too lazy to write field reports now because I have like no fucking Pathetic. time because of uni. Pathetic. Dude, I actually. Do you even write field reports? Excuses. No. Do you go to uni? <laughs> <laughs> do you take. So, yes, this isn't about me, man. It's about you. Oh. Well, oh. I'll, let's, we'll continue. Right? It's, you're not going to answer that question. Oh. So, um. Call his. Yeah, like, so, last time we went to this, uh, this place. I'm not, I can't be screwed telling you guys what it is because you'll judge me. Anyway, um, it was pretty good. And there was a set. Imp- I don't know why, but it seems like Tarong just opens every fucking set in the venue. So whenever I talk to a girl there, they like already know me for some fucking reason. <laughs> so this girl in particular, she like pretty much already, she was like, what the, f-? she was like, so I just talked to her and started talking shit. And then I, I'm saying she's rude and stuff because she won't tell me where she's from, etc. And then she's like, you're rude. And I'm like, why the fuck am I rude? I'm just talking to you. And then she's like. You already talked to me and you're asking what my name is again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how rude is that? And then I'm like, well, it wasn't me, it was my twin brother, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, after she notices, like, I'm, I was I was being truthful the entire time. It's like, it's like I fucking open first and, like, oh, this guy's a shit cunt. And then, like, Aronga opens and they're like, oh, dude, this guy's way cooler than this guy. <laughs> exactly. Basically, 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 that's what happened. <laughs> so then, after I point at my brother, she's like, oh, what the fuck? You're, you're telling the truth the entire time? You actually like me? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, like, it was really interesting because she would say things like, um, like, how is picking up girls going tonight? Stuff like that. And I just didn't say anything to it. I didn't, like, um, you re- like react to it. I didn't react to it. I just kept talking. Yeah. And, um, which was, which I think worked well because, I don't know, she started to really warm up to me. Like, there was, like, this shift in her eyes I could notice. The whole like, point? The whole po- Yeah, probably the whole sexual... I think it was the, the sexual, sexual whole point. point. I think I had the sexual whole past point when she was just past. in front of me talking to me because her friends were there. Yeah. And, um, yeah, after the interaction happened, um, I was, like, constantly trying to get her to... I was trying to isolate her. I was trying to get her to the dance floor. And, like, out of nowhere, she randomly just says... I pole dance, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, why the fuck would you tell me that? Are you trying to, like, show off or something? She wants to do a slide. Did you say that? Yeah, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. And then, like, you know, she's, like, they get, like, pretty embarrassed because I think in their mind, they, like, realize what they just said and, like, why did I say that? Do I like this guy? Do I, am I trying to, like, show off to him? Do I want him to think I'm, like, sexy or whatever? And, um, so, like, I constantly try to get her to, to move location by saying, uh, show me how to pole dance like show me your pole dance moves and like i'm trying to verbally do it but that doesn't work at all so after a while of talking like i hug her and then i have a ha- my hand across her shoulders and we just start moving towards the dance floor and that pretty much works and when we're on the dance floor we just dance for a while and i try to make it up but i don't think she's down for it because I, I think she's kind of like new to this because she was like to be um, I don't know what to do. I'm new to this. <laughs> Underage. So, yeah. Was um, she from uh, like 
She's 20, 20 years, years old. Uh, she's 20 years yeah. old, so I, I don't know. Maybe she's, she's so in Malaysia, she's like, I'm, I'm a good girl. I don't go out. And I'm like, so what, are you a bad girl now? And she's like, no, I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, man. Yeah, so from that interaction, what I basically learned, like, it's just like a really simple thing, but it's something you need to remember. And that, like, leading is like, it's not just verbal. Like, the physical component is really important. So you're going to make sure you're physically leading if you want to move them. Like, verbally leading is not going to work. Trying to move them logically will not work. Yeah. Leading. 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 I think the leading. pole dance is much of a shit test plus, plus yeah. things like that. Because most of the guys were like, really? Yeah. You pole dance? No way. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like a cool motherfucker. You're like, huh? Yeah. It's like that's like the lesbians yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But when she told me she was like lesbian, mm. I'm like yes, <laughs> like high five, and then she, she's oh, like, then she, then she's for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be gushing right now. <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys should be gushing. That was, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> like um, cause the, yeah, me and Taranga approached this two set. And they ended up being lesbians, and then oh, is that your story? Are you starting now? No, this is just a detour. This is just a, this is a detour. Just take one second. And then, like, um, yeah, and then, <laughs> I don't know, we lost time. a set somehow. I don't know, someone, I lost a set, and then I think I said something. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you were fucking on yesterday. Talk talk about that feeling, should I, man. Should I interject? Yeah, yeah, continue. Okay, um, well, yesterday was actually pretty fucking awesome. Like, I actually started out shit. The guys probably didn't, like, know, but at the start of the day, I was mm. stifled as fuck. Mm. And I was winning with this other dude that, like, I know from uni, and he, like, Asian dude. The Asian dude. So you just met him at uni, and then uh, he came out. I met him through, like, RSD in a circle, Melbourne. Like, so, ages like, ago. You post months yeah, ago. No, yeah, funny. no, like, a friend of his posted, hmm. like, messaged me after I posted who's out in the city one day, then, like, somehow we got connected, and then we gamed. But he, like, doesn't do that much call. So that's, now. like, interesting. Me and Tarang never had that experience, because we never had to, like, post really. on forums to be like, oh, you guys want to hang out? Because we just to win out together yeah and then we just all the people we know we met on the streets or in the club that's right? actually yeah. better because because no, you no sorry. but like but it's like, like it's like hard for if you're, doing if you're doing it by yourself like it's yeah. just so much harder yeah because sometimes you can just be by yourself months on it like not knowing anyone like that happened to you right Probably. i i started like because it's not that popular in hong kong surprise mm. surprise and then um I just start messaging people on forums like LSD or Simple Pickup. Yeah, I thought I got my first two wings through, through that. Through that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, it's not that bad, but there's a lot of people that say like you want to hang out or shit like that, and they'll just just flake. Yeah. So, so even your wing, your wing, your <laughs> your, your wing appointment <laughs> would flake. Girls flake. <laughs> yeah. Girls flake yeah. Wings. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much of a change. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, how did you reach that like? How did I like state that incredible okay, state? Okay, um, how did I reach that state? Like, I don't know if you guys have realized, but I'll probably say this a lot of times. I'm a bit like retarded. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, not in a like embrace a it, re- not a full retard. Or embrace it, bro. I'm embrace like, it. I'm like borderline to the point where like I don't have that much of like a filter just in like general day to day life. And like when I'm hanging out with you guys, I, I just say like stupid retarded shit or even in set sometimes. Mm-hmm. So like doing that type of stuff, it's kind of like, it's kind of easier to pump my state up. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, because like, yeah, you find by, it hilarious. By right? self-amuse. Because I, I just self-amuse like yeah. a lot. And then like, for example, at the start of the day, I was winning with this guy and we were like in a logical headspace. I was choding out. I was like telling him to do sets and I didn't, I didn't even want to do them. <laughs> <laughs> But then, um, so you told him to do sets, <laughs> but he did them? Or? Uh, he would do them, but sometimes it's because I was bitching out half yeah. of the time too, which I tend to do sometimes. Yeah, everyone does I'm, that. When I'm like pushing someone else because they can't really push themselves that much. Yeah. So I think that's actually important to find guys that push themselves yeah. too. Yeah. Like yeah. it's good to help other guys, but like make sure other guys actually push themselves and are motivated so you don't have to like watch them all the time and like make them do shit to the point where you can't focus you can't. on yourself. Yeah. That's really important when you're finding a good way. Anyways, yeah. back to like getting into state. Basically, we're just fucking around with the guys. Like mm-hmm. we're just saying stupid shit. <laughs> and like whenever you get rejected, like there was this video by 
RSD Max, where you were saying about making rejection funny, yeah. like calling yourself a fucking chode and all that yeah. type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, I was basically like screaming and like saying, why am I such a chode? Like, <laughs> why will no girl like me and all that shit? And like some girls would leave and I'd be like, but I have a three inch penis and like scream it out to them. <laughs> like shit like that. And that stuff just like pumps your set up, it makes you feel good. And you, when you have other guys that are a lot like into pickup and like approaching and shit, that like helps you get into the zone. So I guess the main things were like, Making rejections funny, mm. trying to like, take myself too seriously, and just self amusing like crazy. Like, for example, me and Tarango were like pretending to be gay, <laughs> like holding, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> holding each other's hands and like approaching. <laughs> and we even approached this fucking mix set. I and like, <laughs> and, like I'm just talking to the guy, and like, the chick gay. And, like, the chick was actually really into you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he didn't want to clear us because he had oh. morals or some shit like that. Because they were like on a date. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I guess the main thing was just like pumping up your own state, self amusing a lot, and just not taking yourself too seriously. Because it's really easy to get in a logical headspace when you're out gaming. I do that sometimes too, where you're thinking about every approach. It's like, oh, is my tonality right? Yeah. Did I approach right? Or should I have gone harder? But then that really fucks up with your state. Yeah. And it's like when you try and logically think about how to get into state, then you like stop yourself from getting into state. So, uh, yeah. Mm. Like, Actually, is there anything else? Well, I, I guess. Agree. Yeah, yeah I, agree. I agree. Yeah, you guys agree. Uh, I agree. <laughs> we and agree. If I was gonna go, just one little quick story. With this two set we approached. Go go go. Me and Taranga, um, <clears throat> and it was really cute brunette. Yeah, the one you opened. Yeah. But then I had like this average chick. <coughs> wasn't hot like at all. <laughs> oh, is it in front of that store? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. like for me as a third person, I'm looking at you. That the storekeeper and the security inside is yeah. like the face. The face expression is like yeah. Like a million bucks, they're like, oh, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> like, start start talking to each other and things like that. I think the security guy kind of want to walk up, uh, and then he's like, really? he chilled out. Oh, <laughs> he chilled out. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know. Like, yeah, that was fucking. Because <laughs> the the situation was like this: they opened right in front of a store, <laughs> so like the the center of attention of the of the shopkeepers <laughs> and the security inside. I didn't but, even notice that. I didn't yeah. know. But, like, yeah, yeah, I know that you focus on the set. But anyway, I saw this. This is awesome. And then <laughs> and people are just pointing at you and shit like that. I'm like, oh shit, this fucking game. <laughs> but yeah, nah, game is that is that game? <laughs> game? It's game. It's a game. <laughs> But yeah, no, it was pretty fucking fun. And then um, what was I gonna say was um, your chick was pretty cute. Yeah, my chick was like average. Yeah. But because she was average, you could do a lot of things on her. I just didn't give a shit. Like mm. I could let her go, and I didn't really care. And I was just self amusing, yeah. joking around. Yeah. And then like, I don't know, I, just, I isolated her, turned her yeah. away. Yeah. Came up, and then I'm like, she just, just out of nowhere, I'm joking around, teasing her, and I'm like, what did I say to her? I was just teasing her, saying she's stupid or some shit. Not now. <laughs> But yeah, and then like she just had anime eyes. Yeah. Because I just didn't give a fuck. Actually, you, I think you will eventually have a lot of reference experience on that. You just escalate like crazy. But sometimes you over fire, but to a certain point, I think you would develop that feeling that they will come. Yeah. When you become a more pimp pimp, you know? <laughs> more pimp pimp. Well, wow. yeah, <laughs> pimp pimp. Oh, yeah, so cute. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, I, sometimes I put too much pressure. Or, yeah. Like, I over game and I can yeah. sense it, and like the girl just like. It's like the drug overdose. It's like, like too, much, too, much dance, dance, too much dancing monkey. Yeah, yeah and and you don't have comfort. Because yeah. she really likes me, why am I doing that mm. shit anymore? Yeah, mm. or yeah. overpowering shit like that. Yeah. It's actually what, what kind of felt like what I felt looking at Taranga. At first, like the first month of the first week, he's like the makeup guy. Mm. He just goes to every girl twice, <laughs> twice to make out. <laughs> but but he, he has the best sense here now. Like, as well, for me, like he knows, like when the girl's ready, he he mm. developed that sense because mm. he fucked up so many times. He got that reference experience down. Like you, you can't develop that if you don't go through <clears> all that. Don't even try. Yeah, a mm. lot of lot of fat chicks. <laughs> <laughs> fat chicks are the shit. They are, they are. But yeah, no, it's right, fat chicks there because you're entitled. But can exactly. get those reference yeah. experience with them, you can just transfer it. As you were saying, yeah. just mm. like ten seconds ago. Mm. Actually, honestly, they're more fun to talk to. Like, really, really. The hot girls are like, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's because of, like, yeah. fat chicks have to have a personality. Yeah. And, like, they yeah. can't get by yeah. their looks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nobody's going to fucking talk to them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they have to, like, become cool. 
Um, but yeah, one last thing, just with that set, I was just really entitled, and I was even like teasing her. I like she had Bambi eyes, so I just like going for the kiss. I just like move away because I want to kiss her. <laughs> and I'm like, should wait, should we kiss? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you went for the kiss and then you like move back. Yeah. Right? Oh, shit. Oh, and then, and I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know that's, you that well. That's not like... <laughs> So you're like doubting <laughs> yourself. Fucking <laughs> natural. Nah, like, I'm fucking around. Oh, you're fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> fucking around. <laughs> okay, okay. And, then, uh, and yeah. then I'm like, should I? Should we kiss? And she's like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, just fucking around. Oh my god. god. Yeah, that was she just, wanted it so bad. <laughs> she wanted it so bad. <laughs> and then I'm like, I did like three times, but yeah. you like crushed her, bro. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You got her right there. She was fucking wet, man. Dude, she you crushed her soul, bro. She was like, oh my god, I want this guy to make out so. She just take my dick out of the straight. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just a pussy man. Maybe like next week. <laughs> next, <laughs> next week. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Michael takes the deal. That's a long time. Bad from Swanson Street. Fucking <laughs> <Is that laughs> impossible. Is it possible to ban from a street? <laughs> this I guy. I so. Probably. I got kicked out of a fucking emporium, and I didn't even do that much shit. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. The point I was trying to make was like that. I was just really entitled to that girl. Because I just didn't give a fuck and I just felt like I deserved it. And that was, that was why she was so hooked and why I was able to do that shit. Yeah. And I think like transferring that over to hotter girls. It's going to take a lot of time. Time and just like reference experience of doing that type of shit again and again and again with hotter and hotter girls. And eventually feeling like I'm the shit with like everybody. Yeah. And like treating fat chicks and like stunners the same, which are like... I don't even fucking know how that's going to happen. But <laughs> what, do you got, what is your guys' opinion on like developing entitlement? I think, like, in some ways, it's like, you just have to keep, like, at first, you're going to have to just find a kind of cute, attractive girl that, like, just likes you for you. Like, you won't be able to game her straight away, because you won't be able to, because you don't know the entitlement to do it. So, I guess, it's, you just got to approach, approach, until you do find that one. And then when you kind of, like, get that, that sense that you're enough to be with a girl like that, you'll start growing that entitlement. You know what I mean? All right. But, like, yeah, that's what, what I feel sometimes. But maybe, like, it's possible to learn to game her without gaining that kind of, that feeling. Yeah. For me, it's from inside. Mm-hmm. Like, for, I feel really, like, your brain is fucking retarded. It needs, like, it needs evidence mm-hmm. to trust yourself as awesome. Yeah. So, I pretty much just do shit for myself. I'm, like, talking to myself, like, Dino, you if you finish this tattoo design yeah. you're the most awesome guy on earth because you does this right. for yourself yeah. and then it builds that way so slowly slowly I trust that I'm the most awesome guy on the world and I just deserve any girl yeah. mm-hmm. but it's like you have, to, you have to go out and you have to brainwash <laughs> yourself when you, while you go out like you can't just like sit at home and do it you have to like you have to go out and brainwash at the same time and yeah. that's how like each that's time you approach you have to like yeah. say some shit in your head like, it's mm-hmm. fucked up, but, like, yeah. They're the shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I get what you're saying. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well you can be delusional. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, you need to be delusional at some point. You need to be. You need to be. Like, logically, when you're walking down the street or when you're in a There's classroom. no logic, man. Fuck logic. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you, you see that stunning girl and you don't... Why the fuck are you, like, as valuable as her? It's mm. what you think in the moment. Yeah. A lot of the time, so anyway. It's like all I, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Every fucking day of my life. <laughs> why can I have tits? <laughs> That's why I take cold showers. I'll have ass. I wear high heels. Alright, my turn. So, um... A little bit of lifestyle thing. I changed my schedule this week. Mm-hmm. So I usually work out in the morning. And then this week I decided I'll, I'll wake up and then I'll work in the tattoo studio as hard as I could. And then I'll work out at night. And then I could, like, that, this is the ideal plan. And then go out at night. But actually working out, like, after work is actually, painful. like, ten times more brutal than what I do. Because mm. uh, that's what I do once I wake up before... And then it just fucked up my day. Yeah. And then I usually don't get that muscle pain, but this week I'm like... Fucked. Yeah. Totally fucked. So, uh, yeah. So I'll switch back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Anyway, um, uh, on Tuesday, we went to Hawthorn as usual. And girls are in groups in usual. But, um, like, slowly, slowly, I just... 
develop that. Like at first, I need people to self amuse with me, but、uh, slowly, I think I I became a more happy person when either in day game or night game. And that night, like my opener was, I just like claw the girl in, like grab her neck, and that you know. <laughs> What does、uh, "Raptor" from Jurassic Park sound like? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my hooking line. That's my hooking line that that's night. That's fucking worst. That's no other line hooked that night. That was crazy. Only this line hooked, and I'm like, "Eh, good, eh, good." And it goes like, "Oh my god!" And then yeah, and I hooked, but um, I actually hooked up like two or three by this. And、um, and I lost one because I played it too hard. I was like push push push, two less pull, and then eventually she's she's a girl from from England. Actually, why girls like get offended so easily? <laughs> like I open with like the raptor shit, yeah, <laughs> and then and then she's from England. <laughs> I'm from Hong Kong, right? So. England dominated Hong Kong pretty much. So I, oh, you fucking killed a lot of my ancestors. Nothing, <laughs> 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 nothing. And, and like that, that, that was too much of a push to her. Then I didn't pressure off because in my mind this is nothing. I didn't kill a cat. I didn't murder your mom. I'm like that's nothing. And then she, it, it was actually too much for her. So like the sticking point would be like to pressure off. Even I don't think, like for is is like self amuses for me. But while it's using on a girl, I should like I should react to her reaction rather should, than should、uh, should be responsive, yeah, reactive, rather than full full <laughs> self abuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should like see the <laughs> yeah the face when he says that. <laughs> like hear of like the like, Tiffany moment of like the world. It's gonna change <laughs> people's lives. <laughs> Guys, this is our、uh, responsive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's my funny moment of the week, and、uh, it's like, dude, you're like hooking sets so badly because I remember you talking to this one girl, and then she walks away, and、yeah. then you just shout out, "Hey!" And then she full on turns around, and just walks back to you. Really? Like, yeah, I try. And me, me, a lot of times I lost memory. <laughs> me, me, Patrick, and Tara were just like, "What, What the fuck?" fuck? <laughs> she was so fun. <laughs> oh, that England one, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the English one. Yeah.、Uh. Because I didn't give a fuck. I'm just like, come back. Yeah. Your ass she here now. And she just walked back. Walked back. Yeah. It's Thank funny because Tara was talking to her earlier, and then she just left her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She fucking. I don't know, man. She said some shit like, "Oh, I'm trying to find my friend. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude." And then like, and then I'm just like, "Okay." And then she leaves basically. Actually, she's coming like, back to me.、Show. You gotta be responsive, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that shit. <laughs> Yeah, you're right.、Uh, you're right. <laughs> I had a、uh, <laughs> hot girl set hooking that day.、Um, she was by the bar and she's there with her friend. She's like, the the setup was like six girls set up. So the girls are sitting on the table and there's only her getting drinks at the bar. And then I open and it it wasn't it wasn't hooking at all. And I just keep plowing, plowing, plowing. I'm like,、oh, I'm from Hogwarts or things like that. And、uh, it. Eventually hooked, but、um, it, it's just like the typical hot girl problem. I don't know if you could relate that she doesn't give you much,、mm. but actually you could tell she's interested to a certain degree because she's talking with you.、Mm. And yeah, and eventually she just went back to her group, and I followed her, and I'm like try a high high energy that shit. I'm like, hey, I just met your friend whose birthday is it? Your birthday? All right, that's cool. Like.、Yeah. Shouldn't tell people you're like、uh, birthday wish, you know, you,、yeah. like it won't come true.、Yeah. And then pretty much the other girls like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> like whatever, we're, we're yeah. depressed, yeah, <laughs> fuck our lives,、uh, yeah. And I'm like, we're not、oh. here to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> and I and I pretty much ejected. Yeah. So fuck me.、Uh, But that's good. Like at least you're taking that. That first step of at least like when the chick says I'm going back to my group instead of you saying oh okay bye you're actually going with her yeah it's like the first step、really、when you start doing that shit magical shit starts to happen like, magical、so、fucking、true. shit man yeah. yeah I gotta start doing that more I don't do that more alright it's your turn alright、um, the jaws so last night went in the same place that Arang went to surprise surprise and、uh, um. 
some cool shit. Um, okay, so magical shit happened. I like my I like my approach ethic more now. I like night. I like fucking go ham, right? But it takes a while to get there. And something that really um like important to do is to like figure out the exact moments when like either your state shifted to like a good state or a bad state. Like like what made you feel good and what made you feel bad. Like the specific things like that happened and where it exactly happened, right? So you can figure out like like what affects you. Things like that. So like I remember the points in the night where I was just like incredibly happy, like like I was in the zone, right? So like there's like this really good feeling in my body. Like really good feeling and it was like it's like when you're drunk, like, like you're sober, right? And um so a specific set, which was really good, like this was one of the like the latest sets I did when I was like I had already done like so much shit, right? So it was like I was just free of outcome and I was really um I was really happy and stuff, so and oh yeah, so I I open a lot on the dance floor now. Like it's like the it's like the easiest shit. You just like consider the dance floor as just like a bar. Like you don't even care about the fact that everyone's dancing. You just like tap tap and you just like talk to them <laughs> as if they're just like standing there. So you don't even bother dancing. Like fuck dance game because I can't dance with shit, right? So I just like walk. I just roll up and walk to, talk to them. Yeah, and they either they either like really responsive or they just like tell me to fuck off. So whatever is good. But usually. I plow, because, like, I don't know, man, I feel like that I need to plow, like, a motherfucker in the open, especially at night, because generally they just ignore me. Like, if I do, like, if I do, like, a small amount at night, if I just, like, talk to them, like, if I just say one thing, like, I've, I've seen some guys, like, it's happened to me before when I, like, just say something, like, they just, just, like, like one so thing to on. go, yeah. and they're just, like, on, like, that's always good. But, like, with, with the hotter chicks and with the chicks that are, like, decent looking right like you have to <laughs> plow otherwise they just ignore you and anyway so the specific set was like later in the night and she was dancing with some other dude and then i just like woke up and i just like grab her and just like start dancing with her i'm talking i'm talking to her and it seems pretty good like i'm getting really physical with her like re- like straight away i'm just like grinding on her and shit and I asked her some, like, basic questions or whatever, and her friend just chodes the fuck out and leaves, because that's her classmate. And now the dude comes and tries to grab her away from me. I just say hi to him, and then he fucking leaves as well. <laughs> I can't understand that. All I did... Why did you say hi? That's so rude! All I did, because, like, he's, like, holding onto her, her um, elbow, and kind of, like, trying to, pull her away. trying to pull her away, but she's, like, fully into it, yeah. Yeah. And, um, fuck Asian guys. Is he Asian? Yeah, he was Asian. He was Asian. Fuck. He's like taller than me, man. He was better looking than me, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's like, he's better looking, more strong than me. <laughs> so yeah. Fuck you. But you have game. Yeah, anyway, um, okay. so I don't know, I just said hi to him. It's fucking weird. I just said, Hi, my name is Tronga, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's I did. But I was like, one day, what's up, dude? But I think I said it in a way that was, like, really... Dominant. Like, it puts them in the head, yeah. Like, it was, like, really dominant in the way I said it. Like, good breaking rapport, positive dominant commanding challenging. <laughs> wow. All that shit, right? And, yeah, 90 degree angle with my hand when I shook his hand, right? Shook his hand. Yeah, and, like, dude. slightly <laughs> positioned on the top slightly to show my angular. dominance, right? Are you sure it's not karate? I think you No, no, no. You tried to chop him. You tried to chop him. That's why he left. You're like, wow. He's like, holy shit, it's good. Yeah. Karate. yeah, that karate is solid, man. It's not it's even solid. Asian, holy shit. <laughs> so, yeah, then he just, he just fucking turns around and, like, leaves, right? And then in my head, I'm just like, oh my god, dude. So, do you think like, it's also the possibility yeah. that, like, sh- he was just, he was just testing whether the chick was, like, being forced to stay with you or she was staying there by herself, right? Because sometimes, know. because if she came and she held uh, no, no. and then like oh. it was really easy for her to pull her oh, away yeah. Yeah. then but like then when she tested it she was like not moving at all oh, yeah, exactly. so she was happy to be with you yeah you know nah man it was me I think <laughs> I think it's uh, <laughs> alright okay I think it's Continue a f- story. frame battle to a certain extent it's like the frame that you you want to be with her so she want to be with you yeah and the friend's frame is like she doesn't want to be with you mm-hmm. and then he's tried to, to transfer that frame on the girl yeah but, but it's a yeah. weak ass frame. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, our champion like murdered him. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um and then I just ask her, oh, let's go grab some water. And she's like, okay, and I just grab her hand and we go to the 
far. Okay. And then I just start qualifying the shit out of her because at this stage, I'm like the most valuable dude ever, right? So I just qualify like the shit out of her. So I say like all this shit like, oh, I didn't really, I, didn't, I wasn't sure about you when I met you, but since I've talked to you, I've noticed that this, 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 you're a cool person. Give me your number. Cool. <laughs> and, and that's like really important, especially at night. Because in the nighttime, it's kind of like you're not really meeting like the real person because you're in, you're in the venue, right? It's like people are drunk. Like acting differently, they're trying to be cool, cool and shit. Yeah. Like they care what other people think, so you don't really meet the real person. So when you meet it, meet the girl, like you have to make sure that you, they know that you like them, as a person. not for like superficial reasons, because most of them look pretty. Like they all have fucking makeup on, right? So they all, <laughs> most of them look pretty hot. So you have to make sure they know that you like them for like reasons that aren't superficial, and then they'll actually remember you. Because, like, this chick texted me back after I gave, like, after we swapped the numbers. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fairly solid. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And I know, and the moment where, like, I know this is really bad, but, like, the moment where I started feeling good was, like, when I just started making out with some random drunk chick, right? <laughs> like, that's the moment where I started feeling good. It's like, fucking, like, I gotta change that somehow, you know? It's like not, it's like... It's like I'm independent on fucking <laughs> drunk bitches, you know? It's like, not good, man. As soon as you break on a drunk chick, you're like, boom, stay. Because it's like, she was just, access, stayed access dependent. She was just like, drunk she was just like, like dancing like crazy near the bar. And I just put my hand out, dude. And then she just grabs it. And then she's like all over me. And then I'm like grinding on her. And then a friend comes along. And she's like fucking pissed off at me for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, man. For some reason. She drags her away. It's not my fault she ran. It's not fault, but yeah, <laughs> pretty much it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you wanna oh, talk what did about I learn? It? I learned jack shit. I'm just kidding. I've learned enough. I've learned enough. Fucking. Um, fucking. I know. I guess I just reinforced all the beliefs I already have. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so it was a perfect, perfect set? Perfect interaction? Nah, I didn't pull, so. Okay. But why not? Because she was with a group of like, like no, logistics no. Dude, shit. Irrelevant, irrelevant. Logistics was shit. She was grouped with like 20 people. Say so it's impossible, so nobody could afford her? Nah, not even talk. <laughs> 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 I want Julian, I want Julian. Dude, that's such a good, such a good line, man. So it's impossible. No one could afford it. Yeah. What was her logistics? <laughs> Break down. She lived in Breakdown. like, uh, she lived... No, where she, did you live? Where did you live? I, I live in Melbourne uh, Central. No, oh, fuck. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, that that sounds really yeah, poor. That actually sounds poor. Uh, uh, she lived in like Trinity College or some shit, so I'm not close to there. That's a Melbourne that's like, Uni. That's Melbourne Uni. It's like so you know, like ten minutes, like probably ten twenty minutes with, walk. You could even walk home with her. You yeah, but like she was with people. like um twenty other people, and that's good. Twenty people is better than two people. Isn't it diluted? So there wouldn't be like as much of a yeah. Have you been to the talk hot seat? What did talk say? Okay, I learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what did talk well, say? Okay. So there was that other girl as well, right? Yeah. Which one? That was, was a massive cock block. Oh, yeah, yeah. She cock blocked me. Yeah. But. Cause, do you know why? Because I actually. Op- uh, she was like my first. The first chick I opened in the night. night. Oh. Yeah, her friend, right? Jealous biatch. Yeah. And. I, I think know. she was jealous, man. Yeah. I, f- I feel bad for her. Because she wanted some D as well. What's some D? Dude, fuck her, man. Yeah, fuck, fuck that chick. Dude, like we, me we should have pulled it together, man. <laughs> you could have fucked all of them. I could have fucked one of them. And then, like, race, they would have been happy because they would have both got some brown D, man. Brown D. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they wanted when they went to the club. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> some chocolate nah, they, that's what they, they didn't want that shit initially, man. But when they got to the club and then met us, they, they knew what they wanted, bro. Yeah, no, this is what, met you, us, man. what you should think like. You should walk like, look at all these, like, retarded Asians. <laughs> We're so cool. <laughs> retarded. <laughs> Dude, that's what I think. Je- uh, I, I, did, I thought that before that video. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I see in clubs. Like, I walk in, stupid white dudes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Asian, so awesome. Ah, it's so stupid. Um, all right, Michael, you have any stories? No, Michael's already said. Sorry, you're sorry. Oh, I said yeah. I've, I've oh, happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll interview, we'll interview, interview, yeah. Yeah. Michael. interview uh, Michael. Yeah. Well, I guess actually, last thing, yeah. this like this is just about being like a hard hard closer, and like eighteen year old talking about hard closer. <laughs> no, I'm not a hard closer, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm like 
total chode. That's like a mentality like, you want to yeah, yeah. yeah, you're chode. aware I'm of high thinking. closing. That's but, what yeah, I'm, I'm scared of. I'm aware of being a high closer. For example, I met this chick Sunday. Went to Nary Warren to see her. Yeah. She's like far away. But I didn't know how much time she had. Oh, I this thought was we had, like, the, Yeah, I told the, you about yeah. it. I yeah. thought we had like more time. Like the whole day for like like five or six hours. So I'm just like, oh, just chill for a bit. Yeah. And then try and pull to her place. Yeah. But anyways, like the situation was she she told me initially that she had like a free place because her parents were like families at a little barbecue or something. Woohoo. And then, like I didn't I didn't try anything. Like I had my laptop with me. I could have said, oh, I need to charge my laptop. Can I just go 20 minutes and we'll leave? Right. We'll live like straight away. Yeah. But then I'm just like, I'll oh, just build comfort a bit. I yeah. can't, I can't, I can't try now. <laughs> In case rejection, I'm just being a bitch. Yeah. And then I'm just hung out with her a bit, went shopping, and then like just chilled at the park, yeah. and then like tried to escalate there. But there like people that she knew was walking past and shit, and it was yeah. like 100 meters or 200 oh. meters from like the main road and shit. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't really care, but just trying to escalate. And Actually, stuff. um, funny side note, yeah. <laughs> I used to do parkour. Uh, at the park, right? So there's these stairs we do uh, exercise on. We jump around, and then next to the stairs, there's a little bit of trees. I won't call it call it a forest. It's, there's a little bit of trees. Yeah. <laughs> One Sunday, yeah, there was a girl grinding on this guy, <laughs> just just sitting on her. You know, yeah. like the guy's like uh, back towards the floor, right. and then the girl's sitting on her, on him. Yeah, just like grinding. they're just talking and yeah. grinding, uh, uh, and like like. Like twenty of us are like training right <laughs> 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 <Just> watching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that girl's that girl's a boss man. That, that girl's dominating the so guy, you know what I mean? Uh, she's yeah. she, like, like she's she's fucking riding a guy uh, next to So she's raping him, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. And that yeah. guy is like not man enough to to like I don't know to That's handle awesome, that. Dude. I want that to happen Bitch. to me, man. That will happen eventually. And if he doesn't, it will just rape bitches. <laughs> Joking. We don't condone rape on House of Wonders. House of Wonders. <laughs> House of Wonders. Right, House of What It Is. That's a good name. Okay. We're, we're against rape. Um, but yeah, the point I was making, tried escalating her, but she had like a cold or something. So I didn't want to like make uh, up her. So like try to rouse her like you. to her neck and stuff like that. Try to undo her shirt and shit, but like she wasn't down for it. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. Yeah, I couldn't down for it in the park. Fucking bitch. And then um, then she like had to go like randomly because of like mom called. This chick is like 17, by the way. Since I'm 12, like, it's not that big, <laughs> it's not that big of an age difference. But like, I'm a boss. Anyways, like, so she had to leave like 20 minutes later and then I, did, I had like no opportunity. Like, I guess the main lessons I learned from that. I was that, playing video games at your age. <laughs> Just, just letting you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. stopped, man. Continue, continue, continue. I stopped video games last year in fucking Great Fire. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I guess the main lessons I learned is just like, always like, just try and pull to her as much as possible. And if she's not down, just fucking like, build comfort and just like, try and like, spend more time with her, build comfort, qualify and all that type of shit. Actually, it's enough. I think at that point when she tells you like, she has a place, I think you have already reached a escalation window. And she's like, what's the fuck? is wrong with this guy. I gave him an option and he didn't like make you things reckon? happen. Yeah, that that's what that's even that's though she my... was like seventeen and she told me she hasn't hadn't even like fingered herself with him once. Oh, she's she's like masturbated. Like masturbated. Yeah, but like the chick, the chick, no, no, it's, just, it's, it's something just natural. Just have sex. It's like she wants to like fool around. She wants to like experience something new. Yeah. Experience a bit. She, yeah, exactly. Oh, like yeah. she doesn't know, necessarily want to get fucked. Actually, she might, sex like, comes she might natural. Like, she'll so... be interested. Like to just what, even see it. What will you do? Just be like, whoa, whoa. whoa. penis. I just want to grab it. Alien. <laughs> Probably never seen a twelve-year-old before. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> On yeah, twelve year olds like with non-existent years. penises, man. So, um, um, did she? <laughs> 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 did she lost interest eventually? Um, That's my guess. I don't know. I think like maybe I overestimated again. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think I did anything bad, but like well, she was walking me back to train station because her mum was gonna pick her up, and I'm just like feeling her ass up and she was, like, <laughs> like cause she cause she didn't want it. It was like as a joke. No, no, you just, just like, but like as a joke, and I'm just like you're not calibrated enough. Stuff, but, I think. And then I'm like, <laughs> so she, she, she doesn't but care. Like, right? I, like she was, it was like token resistance. No. She, I never got any hard nose except exactly. when she like she pushed me off once when we were on the park. Yeah. But it wasn't like a hard no. Yeah, I'm not like point retired at the point where I don't know like where she's like. I think you need to tone that now. shit down. But this is like where I need more experience and just reference experience. Yeah, uh, fucking true, shit true, up true. while over escalating again and again true, and again true. to the point where like. But dude, it's better to over escalate yeah, than to not yeah. escalate. Like <laughs> yeah, like true. seriously, it's good. That's good shit. True. I underescalate a lot. 
sometimes too, like when I go friend to friend initially, I can't even fucking touch the girl's hand. So yeah, that's that's what yeah, I thought, dude. I've had that experience. Like I've been, I've made out with this chick. I've had her like give me a hand job, and then like we're on the date, and I'm like, fuck, I don't want to <laughs> hold the hand because it's like I want to make it too like relationship relationshipy, even though that's like her full frame to the max, right? Oh, okay. So she was like. Do something else, like, yeah. like provide a grab her them. neck or some shit. I feel bad for them, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like, I'm just like, fuck you. I feel like I'm manipulating them if I hold their hands. It's like... No, I feel bad for them if I don't hold their hand. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Don't you? But, like, I've heard some other guys be like, be like, you shouldn't hold their hand. No, no, you say yeah. too much of a provider, like, I relationship know. frame. And then she's like, she doesn't even know you. True. And you're like, who holds people's hands? When you see people walking the streets, usually... Yeah, you're right. Friend, but it's like, it's okay to do it as a joke for a bit. I reckon. Nah, oh, you're right. Don't, do the the don't like. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, that's yeah. breaking little girls' guys, hearts. Cool straight away, but but don't rape bitches because we're not. Yes, that you still needed point. to build comfort, but yeah. No, um, that was true. She yeah. said like one point how she was like. I think you're overdoing it because at that point you already reached the sexual and like comfort. But like you have enough comfort already if she agrees to. She like, didn't agree to stay, like, stay that much. We were like yeah. lying on the park. She was chill, but like she said that she wasn't relaxed. Too. She was told me that, uh. and I'm like, "That's a red light. You should like, light. you should pull I think back." Because I, I was just bluff talking. Uh, if she's not relaxed, that means she's tense. Basically, that means like she feels a lot of sexual tension. I think. She just walked no, she just wants you to be a uh, like <coughs> be a normal <laughs> guy at that bluff. point. Um, she's telling know, you like it's weird. You need to tone this shit down. Yeah. So guys. Be hard closer, but be normal. That's a so-so cue. <laughs> that's that's a much more so-so cue. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, anyway. How did you get into pickup? How did I get into pickup? Why not video know. games? Video games are more fun, you know? You know Destiny's <laughs> like, out. <laughs> what happened was, like, ever since I was 10 years old, um, I was just watching porn all the fucking time. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> 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 fucking joking. Um, <laughs> um, kind of. Anyway. was. By the way, guys, I'm <laughs> like... So watching fucking Pokemon. I'm not 12. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> I'm 18. Um, they won't. But they won't I have a 12 year old penis. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Non existent. <laughs> non existent. Non existent. <laughs> I hide that shit. Um, well, like, I actually found I mean, out about. Belly flaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found out about pickup like two years ago, actually. Like, when I was like in high school, like 10, 11. But I like didn't do shit at all. How did you find out? I think I watched. Um, how did I fucking find out? I. The game. I'm pretty sure it was the game. You read the game. Sorry, guys. Um, I read the game. And, like, that Neil Strauss and all this fucking... Ridiculous. How did you... Like, I... I, I oh, like how how did you dis- discover that? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. It was, like, a fucking long time ago. I think I was... It was Destiny. I so, uh, probably searching how to pick up chips some shit on the internet. <coughs> like, some tips. And then, like, r- actually ran into this, this a site called Speed Seduction or some shit. Where this guy's, like, showing... How to get girls and stuff, and like witty banter, and using all these stories and all these types of shit. And then I like witty banter. And then somehow I just ran into the game, learned about that shit, and then I eventually ended up um learning about RSD. And that was like the main shit that I looked at. I like watched every fucking video. I was like the biggest keyboard jockey out. Like watch fucking Foundations, Blueprint Decoded, fucking the Jeffy Show. Yeah. RSD natural trim like every fucking video Tim but, is like, really good I, I really like Tim's product Tim has like it's just it's like natural awesome vibes the way that he is um, but yeah I like watch every RSD video but I didn't approach like before this year in the past two years I think I approached like seven girls <laughs> but because I was just too bitch to do shit how many like, you did yesterday? <laughs> 70? Um, probably like 20 plus mm. but like I'd say like 10 were like actual sets kind of, mm. whereas the other ones were just quick blowouts. Mm. But yeah, um, that's how I learned about the game. And then eventually, this year, I went out with my mate. One time, I'm just like, fuck this shit, we're going to approach like a random mate. And um, he doesn't know about the game, but like, he knows that I like look at pickup and shit. So I'm just like, all right, we're going to go out in the city and we're going to approach 10 girls. You said that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just randomly. So we were out in the city um, and then we approached 10 girls. Then he ended up like number closing, like... Mm. Oh. Like two chicks, and I'm, well, I'm closing one. Um, and then like, oh shit, which was like, and oh, my God, the biggest shit. And like, I did the most awesome shit, guy. <laughs> it was like the first day. I like switched the girl. Oh, it's really? like first day out. You got a number the first day. That's fucking good, man. Like I switched yeah, the girl because like, uh, yeah. This is this is just Holy really big fuck. back then. Like I approached this chick, and I found out she's like, um, she's like from all the way from fucking um, like she lives like two hours away. 
so then and then I, I found out that a friend they're here for a friend who's like moving to Melbourne. Yeah. So I just like I'm just like, all right, cool, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and changed that girl nine number close, but like didn't go anywhere. Oh, you approached a two set. It was like five or six. Yeah, wow. Whoa. Your first day you approached a five set. Whoa. Yeah, but like Whoa. <laughs> guys, the only reason that I could do that is because me and my friend were just self amusing a lot of shit. We didn't take it too seriously and we're just fucking around and then like That's the correct mindset, man. And like, like just like, having fun and shit yeah. and like self amusing. And I think like in my first few weeks, I actually ended up getting a fucking day too. It's like hot Italian chick. Mm-hmm. But like she ended up like saying to me she was going to meet with friends or some shit. I could come, but like I just like didn't go. Mm-hmm. But that was just because like self amusing, having fun and good vibe. Yeah. And then that's how I got started at pickup. And then like right now I'm like, I did like 30 day challenge, stopped at like day 20. And now I'm doing like a 90 day challenge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Like life challenge, getting shit fucking handled. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Sweet. So, um. <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's my question. Point. Question. Do you want to know my Were you, like, always, like, good at approaching when you first started? Like, could you approach, like, really, like, a lot? Or, like, were you, like. I mean, really to approach anxiety? Yeah. Um. Actually, like, when I was starting out, I. Uh, because I'd actually go solo a lot, surprisingly enough. Yeah. Um, but, like, that was a point. The reason I started approaching was because me and my friend were talking one day. And we're, like, both really into self-development. Yeah. We're just like, fuck this shit. We yeah. have to get shit handled. And, like, the, f- the first few weeks, I, like, started working out, like, exercise, running every day. And, like, getting, like, uni work handled and all that type of shit. Yeah. And then, like, I just felt good all the time. Like, my baseline state was, like, really good. So I didn't have that much approach anxiety. Mm. But then, like, that was that was just, like just because of the situation and, like, just how I started it. But then I I fucking stopped going for, like, two months because I just got into trade, man. Like, literally no approaches. But um, in terms of approach, I did start because I was just, um, I didn't have... Why? Why did you stop for two months? I just, why did I stop for two months? Why? I can't even fucking remember. I just got, like, just got lazy. I didn't do shit, like, in, in anything, like, uni work. Yeah. Working out and everything, I just like stopped everything and then like stopped game and just like sat at home and stuff like that. Which was like, what did you do? How did you get out of that? Uh, how did I get out of that? Um, usually, what happens that happens like a few times actually. Like, I just got fucking pissed. Like, you see everybody, like, you have the willpower, it, and like you are re- reading field reports every day and you see this guy's fucking killing it, and then like Pathetic. you just feel shit. <laughs> you just feel shit about yourself eventually. Like, so I you're think, just like, I'm not getting the success, so yeah, what's the point? I just hate that? myself. Like, it's like to get to the point where you just can't be a chode any longer. Like, if you know about pickup and you're not approaching, you should, you should hate yourself. You should, <laughs> you should be pissed because you know it's possible. Yeah. And you yeah. see you got success and you can be like, like, um, there's that guy on like the forum who says he's ugly and shit. And oh, yeah. Can I say his name? Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Um, like, this is guy in like, I can't remember what pickup page it is or like club for Facebook. His like name's Fred. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's always talking about like how negative he's being really negative about his looks and stuff but the guy's actually not that bad looking yeah, yeah. it's you know in his I mean? mind it's like all limiting beliefs and stuff and it's like if I was gonna say like yeah any- we got ribators ribators <laughs> guys well equipped like the thing is like if you're not approaching just find a way to build leverage to get out there just even one day so you can see it's possible if you can like find wings Go on like RSD in a circle Melbourne, the Melbourne layout. Just go out in a fucking newbie night. And there's always out, like guys out, like willing to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Actually, the community here there's, is, there's is awesome really good. pick-up community. If you're out in the fucking streets, so like... If you're Melbourne, in fucking Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Hong Kong, <laughs> But like, if you're out in Melbourne, if you game... If you just go out a few days, like an hour or two, you always find guys approaching. There's so many gamers in Melbourne, man. So many. So fucking Fucking many. tons. So it's like, just mm-hmm. go out with someone. You don't even have to approach your first day. Just go out and go out. Just keep going out, guys. <laughs> and eventually you get to a point where you have to push yourself because you see, you see success. And it's like this. <laughs> you see that it's possible. And it gets to the point where you just can't it's not so do jelly. it. so jelly. It's like fucking jelly I had. It's like, fuck. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. I get yeah. Hate yourself. Alright. Alright, uh, yeah. So, like, what were you like in, um, like, primary school oh. and stuff? Did you, like... Oh, like, whole story? Um, like, were you, like, good with girls? Never. Before, huh? Um, I was always, like, the funny kid. 
Um, I was like, I could relate to that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm yeah. a dancing monkey in class. I was like the dancing monkey. Um, Ta-da. like for our primary school, early high school, I was, I was like hanging out with the cool kids and stuff for like year eight and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're like grabbing girls' asses and shit, just, like nah. just randomly and shit. Nah. Um, just luck. <laughs> but like, I played nervous with a girl once. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like after that, I just got really focused on studies and stuff, and like year nine, year ten. And year 11 and 12, and I just, like, didn't, like, nothing with girls. I remember I was always, like, nervous around girls. I have, like, a really strict upbringing. So my parents, like, I remember even up to the point where I was, like, like 11 years old, when I'd see, like, kissing on TV and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, just... I'd, like, have to close my eyes. Or I'd close my eyes because I thought it was wrong or some shit. Yeah. So that's the type of background <laughs> that I came out, like, out with. I remember, like, I, I told Taranga this, like, yeah. one of the first few times I met him. Like, I was, like, scared to hug girls in, like, year 7. Like, this hot chick was like, oh, you're so cute, give me a hug. And I'm like, no, because I was, like, freaked out. Like, what the fuck is this shit? But, like, yeah, I was always, I always, I was generally cool with guys and stuff. Yeah. But I just, like, had no clue about what to do with women. Because I hardly ever went out because my parents were really strict and stuff. Didn't really have a big, like, social life outside of school. I was, like, shit scared of girls. And a lot of my friends were, like, mostly chose to. Mm. So I didn't have any, like, um, any, like, guys around me that were, like, her, even natural so you could like show me the way and like but but eventually got to the point where I just like hated being fucking chose so much yeah it's just like you just have to start taking action and then now once I started gaming I realised how many fucking guys I knew that are like pimps it's ridiculous like I half my family not half my family but I've got like <laughs> oh, cousins and shit that are like naturals like yeah. because fuck like they're like they're like rejecting girls really? like hot girls I've got like a cousin who's like there's this chick, she's like, she's fucking hot. Like, I'd say at least an eight, like, at minimum. And she's like, she's, she's just a bit taller than him, though. Yeah. Like, a few inches. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, no. She, like, asked him to, like, she wants to lose her virginity to him and shit. And he's like, nah. Because <laughs> 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 he, he can't, like, because he feels, like, not as masculine or whatever. Oh, okay. When he's with her. So he's, like, literally rejecting girls at school. Like, he has all these girls that want to fuck him. But, like, he's like, oh, he has to find shit. the right one. Or not the right one, but, like, she has to be hot enough. Or he doesn't want to make it easy for girls. Oh, yeah. It's like, he's got fucking hot girl problems. <laughs> and he, like, complains about it. It's funny, though. But, like, <laughs> Holy shit. once I started gaming, like, I met those types of people. And it just made it, made cold approach more real. Because that guy, like, actually, like, approaches on the, like, bus to school every day. And, like... <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, like is he like cousin. a natural dude? He's a natural. He's natural. So he like, brings on the bus. Like, to, to school every day, like, if a pimp starts cool and shit, and like, <laughs> shit, like, rejects girls, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, he just, and he, chicks literally like, try and like, kiss him. He's had a girl like, try and kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, in class? Like, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's like, because he has like, because he's just, like, really interested in game and like, but like, he just has kind of like, subconscious understanding of it. Like, he understands yeah. all these principles. Yeah. yeah. Like, about relating to a woman or about... A big problem I have is, like, relating to the motherfucking person. Yeah. Um, and he's, like, telling me... Sometimes when you, like, told me this shit, perfect, like, game terms and stuff, yeah. how you come off to high value, and uh-huh. it's, like, not on the same wavelength and shit, and you have to relate to them as a person, <laughs> or they see just, like, a what, retard and stuff. What is he passionate about? Like, game or, like, um, he has he any just, hobbies? No. Nah. Like, game is just, like... Girls is just, like, a side thing for him. He doesn't give a shit about yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Couldn't care less. It's just, yeah. like something that he is hmm. and he's just but he's and another thing about him he's, he's fucking delusional like delusionally narcissistic oh. like, that's, an, that's another thing that you always say that by natural that's it's yeah. fucking true that's the best like, combination I, I do remember them. last night yeah, yeah. yeah like the guy he like i remember one time we were talking uh it was like a family gathering or something and then we we're just walking around the area and it was like to me like we we're just having a random conversation and he just interrupts me and it's like you know sometimes i wonder like like, why I'm so good looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, though, like, do you, like, you're, you're going like, to be a model? Like, <laughs> like, it's just out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> he's narcissistic as fuck. But, like, he knows how to manage it, too. Like, he knows how to relate to girls. He understands all social dynamics because he's interested in that shit. And, like, how to, he's just really good with people hmm. in general. So, it's he didn't, like, like, he didn't have to learn this shit, right? He did. He did. He, like, he was always oh, kind of had a knack for it. Oh, God. Like he actually watched Simple Pick Up one day. Oh, really? And he just went out cold approaching. This is like when he was like fucking twelve or something. <laughs> I don't even know. He was like really young and just started cold approaching by himself and like figured it out, oh, kind of like subconsciously, <laughs> which is like crazy. Mm. And it's like he probably had some like general like social skills and stuff that he had behind it. Mm. 
but now it's like ultimate level. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But you, yeah. You have you said like you have like natural twin friends as well, apparently. Because oh, I yeah. met that dude yesterday. Did you? Oh, yeah, it was on the street. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, hey, is Michael around? And I'm like, uh, yeah, did you no. say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yeah, he's those two too. Yeah, like twins. You like gets like dick sucked every day. Like if he wants after school and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this shit happens. Welcome guys. to school. Game is possible. <laughs> Welcome to school. And those guys are like, what I noticed about them is like have fucking crazy entitlement. Where they like, they think they're the ten. Like they think they literally think they're like the hottest shit out. Like, no doubt in their mind, confident as fuck, and usually narcissistic, or they, they know that the shit and they love to talk about themselves, like, everyone <laughs> knows about naturals, and, like, they have, like, they don't even know what approach anxiety is. Oh, holy a point. shit. Like, a lot, of, do you have, if you guys met naturals, I don't know if you like, you know, like, if, it's just that they don't feel like it one time, but if they're in a generally sociable mood, mm. they just don't, like, give a fuck, because, mm. like, they just expect 100%, they just believe that it will go well. They have like that full self belief and entitlement. It's like if you see a guy like those twins that you walked up. Yeah. Like when he walks up to a girl, it's the funniest shit. Like, <laughs> like imagine like a rapper. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that swag. Swag. <laughs> yeah, that swag. We're like way he walks, we're just like <laughs> moves his arms, got that look. You know yeah. what I mean? That yeah. focus, that relaxed arousal. Yeah. <laughs> like Alex says, it was a tall guy yesterday, right? Nah, no, it was no, this guy's guy short. Guy's short. He's yeah. like my height, like shorter than me. I think. But, but yeah. He's the shit. But yeah, they just believe they're the shit. That's what I've noticed about naturals. And like, you got the swag. Got that swag. swag. Yeah. Like that. They just know. Alright. Find That's something sick. cool about yourself. Dude, it doesn't even need to be find something cool about yourself, man. You just are cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're the cool, most man. awesome organism on earth. So. You are a belt. Yeah. You are so it's no matter. No reason that you're on earth. <laughs> 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 Alright, All right. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's that's good. I yeah. think we're done. Yeah. Wraps it up. Wraps it up. Uh, go out. <laughs> go out, talk to girls, have fun. And we'll listen to Walking Forward again. Uh, <laughs> this is the wrong song, man. No. Uh, no, this is our song. Uh, our song. It's good, Jim. Oh, I haven't taken my cold shower yet. Yeah. <sighs> so scary, man. It's so scary. Do you take like mascara and stuff like that? No. Um, um, that's the last. You know, that's just too fucking cold. Oh, I'm going to go in there. Yeah. 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 I <laughs> feel <laughs> 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 like two and a half hours. <laughs> go for it, man. Go, go, go. There's a lot of guys out already. Oh, uh, meet Carl. You know Carl? He's he's like one year younger than you. Ah, Carl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's out. Yeah. Where do you see that? Okay. No, I can't get out of that. Yeah. Hmm? Where do you see that? 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 Where no, not about PUAs. Like, look how for the PUAs. You're a I'm like the danger side. They don't understand. You're the you're you're like dead. I'm the top of the food chain now. Hey guys. It's a music show now. Oh, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even look at it. What? That's wrong with that. That's wrong with that. I don't know. 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 I
<laughs> oh, Claudia. Claudia is for a while, right? Huh? You got Claudia for a while, oh, right? Last night. Nice. New Claudia. No. Ah, really? Ah, like No, no. Ah, ah, from the top. Yeah, because you like that, like that. You just do <laughs> I think you showed me the idea of how you how you can you know, list everything that you did. <laughs> like everything. <laughs> How long ago did you meet this guy? Yeah. That's when Jody wanted to go over. Now it's like Jody. That's when he's in the final. I would like... Okay, this is just a little after. He's going to start like a few days ago. Yeah, I think he's going to start like a few days ago. I'm trying to make it. 